transparent header has always been a huge trend in web design in this video i'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create a transparent header in the latest version of elementor which is up till date is 3.16 so if you are an elementor pro user and you want to make a transparent header you can easily follow this step-by-step -step guide and you won't be needing any developer for that so you can do that on your own so if you want to learn stick to the video and uh, let us know in the comments below if you have more suggestion to improve our content and what more you would like to learn in our youtube channel without further ado let's get into the screen hi guys welcome back to epsins pro i'm your co-host nadashik with another tutorial on element in this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how you can create transparent header which is one of the huge trend in web designing Yes, I'll be telling you step by step how you can create this transparent header in simple and easy way. So stay with me. Let's start with the tutorial now. First of all, what I'll do is I'll go for templates here on the left side and click theme builder. Okay, from here, from the left side, click this header and I named it as transparent header. Let's start with the tutorial now. What I need to do first is I need to choose a flexbox container click this plus sign and go for this four column flexbox container okay so this is inserted now I'll be doing some settings here in the first container I'll be adding an image and just add an image and from the left side what you can do is you can choose this container and change its weight to 15 percent okay now this one is for the menu widget from the left side click this plus sign again and choose the menu okay let's scroll down drag the menu widget here okay so i can add the menu item here in the left side let's do it Okay, so this is done now i'll search for a button okay from the left side drag it here like this and in the last container what we need is some social icons okay drag it here like this looks good now we'll change the width of this and this let's do it Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I've changed the width of this to 50% and rest in these to 15, 50 and rest to 25%. I've added some alignments to it. I aligned it to the left and these three to the center here. Okay, so you guys can do it now. I'll be adding my logo here. Click choose image and choose. Okay, so you need to make sure that your logo is in the white color so that you can get a transparent here okay now what i'll do is i'll add text for this button here and i'll do some styling okay so i've added blue color to it now for this i'll go to styles from the left side and change its color to white so that it's not visible okay looks good now i'll choose the main container here go to advanced make sure your padding is zero so that you don't get have any gap in between them okay this is done okay now what i'll do is the bottom margin to minus 90 okay I'll change the set index to some higher value so that it appears on the top. Okay, this is done. Now I'll be adding a custom CSS code which I'll also mention in the description below so that you guys can copy paste it. Okay, so the code is this is the code for the background effect for the transition color sticky effect okay and this one is for the logo so we have applied this code here now you need to choose this logo go to advanced 
and also add a CSS code in the logo so that you can specify where the code needs to be appearing okay so paste the code here on the logo here now you need to add a CSS class go to layouts from the left side add CSS class logo here okay this is done okay guys so now what you need to do is you need to choose this main container here go to advanced scroll down go for motion effects from the left side here you can see sticky change it to top okay now scroll down and here you can see effect offset you need to change it to 100 okay this looks good okay guys now what i'll do is i'll choose this third container here from the left side go to advanced and choose this motion effect here you can see this entrance animation change it to fade and down like this and let's make it 600 and we'll do the same thing for this as well choose this go to advance scroll down go to motion effects and choose this entrance animation to fade and down from the left side Choose the animation delay to let's make it 900. Okay, looks good. My next step is to add some hover effect to these two buttons here. Okay, go to style from the left side, click hover. Okay, then what we'll do, we'll scroll down, hover animation, change it to grow okay and we'll do the settings here as well okay again we we'll choose the social icons here we'll give some hover effect to this as well okay scroll down icon hover and hover animation to crop looks good okay now you can see we need to place this header on a page so let's do it i've already created a template which i want the header to be placed on so what i'll do is i'll click publish here and i need to add a condition okay include entire site no we want for a single page okay so i'll choose pages here then what i'll do is i'll choose the page here let's choose the page let's type the name of the page which i've already created it is with the name of this transparent header add condition save and close okay let's now check the page go to pages okay so i have opened the page let's see how it looks let's click preview changes here and this is how it looks it changes its color but these two are not getting fade in option so what i'll do is i'll add the fade in option for this and this container so choose this container here go to advance from the left side scroll down go to motion effects and choose the entrance animation to fade in down okay now we'll do the same thing for this choose this container here Go to advanced, go to motion effects, choose the entrance animation to fade and down and what we need to do is need to type this animation delay to 300. This one was for 600 and this one was for 900. So now click publish here and let's see how it works. Let's reload it okay so this looks really beautiful when you scroll down you can see the logo gets suppressed and then bigger and the whole menu is changing wow this looks really great this is just a dummy page which i've created let's click preview and see now 
Okay guys, so this is really beautiful. I hope you like my tutorial. If you want more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button and comment below for more such videos.